Welcome to A level and AP Physics. In today's lesson, we will discuss past paper questions from October November 2023 paper 4 variant 1. As always we do, we will discuss these questions in detail so you can improve your conceptual understanding of physics and also you can have better understanding of these exam questions. Let's study together, let's improve together. Question 1 part A says, state what is indicated by direction of the gravitational field lying at a point in a gravitational field. In order to answer this question, first of all, we can simply imagine we have a beautiful planet and the mass of this planet is capital M. Or simply you can imagine any mass. So this mass will have its own gravitational field. So here we can draw some gravitational field lines. Gravitational field lines. So these are gravitational field lines. These lines are directed inwards because gravitational force is attractive force. This question is simply asking us what this arrow is telling us. What this arrow is telling us. Imagine that we place a unit mass small m here. What is direction of force on this unit mass? This is to the right. So this is what is indicated by arrow on gravitational field lines. Actually there is nothing around this one what we can see. This is just kind of abstract idea. We just imagine there is a field around this one. I mean there is a region around this one. If we place any other mass, that mass will experience attractive force. This is just abstract imagination. This is just imagination. This idea was given by Michael Faraday. And the same concept we use for charges, we imagine they have electric field around them. Means there is region around them. In that region if we place charge, charge will experience force. And in case of gravitational field, there is a region around the mass. If we place any other particle with mass in that region, it will experience attractive force. And these arrows we use to represent direction of force on that test mass. So that's all. This is what we need to understand. How we can write the answer? In order to write the answer for this question, simply we can say direction of the force means this arrow is representing direction of the force acting on a test mass placed at the point so anywhere if you place test mass let's say if we place test mass here there will be attractive force on this one so it will be in this direction so this is what this arrow is representing Second part says, explain with the reference to gravitational field lines why the gravitational field near the surface of the earth is approximately constant for small changes in height. In order to answer this question, again we can imagine we have a lovely planet. So this is the planet and we can also draw the gravitational field lines. So we can draw some gravitational field lines. So here we can draw again some gravitational field lines. So you can imagine these are gravitational field lines around this planet. So these are gravitational field lines lines. Now we will look at this field from different distance. Let's say if you are looking at this field from far away means we are looking from here and we are looking at this field just very close to the surface means we are looking from this distance. This observer when he will see let's say this is observer A and let's say this is observer B. Observer B is very close to the surface so this observer will see gravitational field uniform. So he will see gravitational field like this uniform gravitational field. Why he will see uniform gravitational field because value of G is constant uniform means that well, if G is constant, so we can say uniform means that G is about constant. Means well, if G at this point, well, if G here is about constant. This observer will see uniform field because G is equal to G capital M over R square. R is the distance from the center. 
so distance from the center so this one is the radius mean value of g at the surface so this is value of g at the surface now if we go a little bit higher we can rewrite again g nu this is equal to g capital m over r plus h square and if h is very very small as compared with r so simply we can rewrite this one we can say this is equal to gm over r square means approximately these values are the same so from here we can say it means new value of g this is about equal to gs mean value of g at the surface so this observer he will see uniform gravitational field but observer at a certain distance at larger distance means observer a will see non-uniform gravitational field mean he will see value of g at this point different at this point different and so for observer a field is non-uniform but for observer b we can treat as a uniform gravitational field because h is very small as compared with capital r so these are the points you need to understand now let me show you the answer this question has two marks how you can write down your answer in your answer you can talk about these points you can say change in height is negligible compared with radius of earth so field lines are effectively parallel mean the field is uniform part b says a large isolated uniform sphere has mass capital m and radius capital r point p lies on a straight line passing through the center of the sphere at a variable displacement x from the center as shown in figure 1.1 variable displacement so this is our initial position and this is our final so this is direction of displacement so very important one so direction of displacement is to the right figure 1.2 shows the variation with x of the gravitational field g at point p due to the sphere for the values of x for which p is inside the sphere the magnitude of the gravitational field at the surface of the sphere is y for part b1 determine an expression for y in terms of capital m and capital r identify any other symbols that you use so simply is asking you value of g at the surface of the planet means at this point so g simply we can write on this will be equal to capital g times the mass of the planet divided by the distance from the center of the planet so this is the symbol we have used so simply we need to say this is universal gravitational constant or simply you can say g is gravitational constant so this is gravitational constant this question has two marks if you have written this expression and also you have stated capital G is a gravitational constant you will get two marks this is how gravitational field changes inside a sphere if the density of the sphere is uniform so this is too far uniform density so if the density is uniform this is how gravitational field means value of G will change inside any sphere so rho has to be uniform so uniform density second part says explain why at the surface of sphere g always has the opposite sign to x so we need to understand value of g at the surface so value of g means the force of attraction at the surface so force of attraction is this way and we have already discussed that x is the displacement and its direction is to the right so that's the reason displacement and g means the direction of force of attraction they are in opposite directions so these are the points you need to say you can simply say gravitational force is attractive force so it acts towards the center of the sphere so force and displacement they are in opposite directions so these two points you have to mention and this question has two marks let me show you the answer how you can write down your answer so you can mention these two points gravitational force is attractive so it acts toward the center of the sphere at any point force and displacement are in opposite directions if you have mentioned these two points you will get two marks third part says complete figure 1.2 to show the variation of g with x far values of x up to plus minus 3r far which point p is outside the sphere 
So outside the sphere is very important. In order to answer this question, the best way is first of all, simply we can sketch the sphere. So this is the sphere and value of G is given to us at this point. This is equal to zero and value of G at the surface of the planet we have. So here value of G, this is equal to 1.0 Y. Now we need to find out value of G outside the sphere. If the distance is equal to 2R, distance is equal to 3R. So first of all, we can write down G is equal to G capital M divided by R square and this is equal to 1.0. We can also write down the journal expression for this one. We can say G times capital M divided by R square and R is the distance from the center of the sphere. So at distance R is equal to 2R value of g will be one quarter means one by four because two square four so this is one by four of y or we can say this will be equal to 0.25 y and at distance r is equal to 3r we can also write down value of g this will be equal to one by nine of y or we can say 0.11 y now we need to mark these points so when distance is equal to 2r at this point value of g is equal to 0.25 so here we have 0.5 y so it will be half of that means 1 2 3 4 5 means at this point and again this value is about half of this so it means it will be around here now simply we need to connect these points so we will connect these points that will be the shape of the graph and this will obey inverse square law so you also need to understand this will be inverse square law because g is proportional to 1 over r square so we can simply connect these points simply this is how you can connect the point so this is how you can sketch on this side then 2 r so it is halfway so we have 1 2 3 4 5 so it will be about here little bit lower so this is halfway so it means this will be here and again half so this will be about here so we can also connect these points you can simply draw and you can sketch like this so this is how this graph will look like now let me show you the better one how you can sketch a better one so this is how you can sketch a better one so this one is better one so let me clean this one so this is how you can sketch now one thing maybe some of you will be very confusing about this point on this side g is positive this is g is positive mean y is positive this side g is negative so why it is negative on this side why it is positive on this side so you can simply imagine if we place a mass here for example small m what is direction of force on this one so the force on this one is to the right and by convention we take to the right is positive because the field is pointing to the right so that's reason this value of g is positive and here if we place a mass here force on this one will be to the left and by convention to the left we take negative that's reason value of g is negative in this region so that's reason we have positive here we have negative value of g here just direction g is a vector quantity i hope this video was helpful if this video was helpful please like and subscribe because your encouragement is very important and the solution of remaining questions i'll be uploading as soon as possible meantime if you have any questions please leave your questions in comments and i will try to answer as soon as possible and if you're looking for extra resources means more resources to improve your understanding of physics please join patreon and the link for patreon is in the description of this video see you in next video